Last time on Annoying the Suckless Team for the memes, we installed ST, so today what we're going to do is we're going to patch it. So let's get started. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this is actually a fairly simple process. The problem is that really no one talks about it. So what we're going to do first is, so if you don't have a copy of ST installed, go and download that. So I've already got one, or if you don't have a copy of it downloaded, I guess not installed, then go and download that. So in my last video that I'll put up on the screen right now, then you guys can go check that out. I should switch back to the correct screen. And you can just copy that with a git clone, but if you're not sure about it, go watch the video. So. I've already got a copy of it downloaded, so we don't need to worry about that here. So if you want to download a patch, come to the ST page on the Suckless website. This is the case for all of the Suckless tools, so not just ST for DWM Core, Surf, anything they have patches for. And if you come to the page, there will be a patches section. So this will list out all the patches they have on their website. There are other patches available that you can find on GitHub and various places like that, but we're not going to worry about those today. So I guess a simple one we can go for is Bold is not bright, for example. So by default, as it says here, bold text is rendered bright for some reason. I don't know why they decided to do that and not just render bold text properly, but whatever, it's ST. So we'll download this, save the link. Let's just chuck it into my home folder so it's easy to get to. So we'll put it in the ST folder so it's a bit easier. Okay, so now we have that in the same folder. Right, LF doesn't update properly for some reason. So now that's in the same folder as the ST source code. So the way that we patch it is with a tool called patch. You can use git apply as well, but that will check the commit hashes and sometimes that will cause the patch to actually fail. But if we do it like this, we don't have to worry about that. So if you don't have patch installed, then I'm not sure how you'd get it. It's in some package on Arch. It's probably in like base devel or something. Everything's in base devel. And if you're on like Ubuntu or anything like that, I'm sure you can search up how to find it. It's probably something, you can just probably app get it or something. I don't know. So before we do anything, what we're going to do is commit any changes that are already existing in the repo. There's no changes here. The only change is the fact that I've put the patch into the repo. So we don't actually need to worry about that. But if there are any changes, then I would recommend committing them first because it will make it much easier to remove a patch. So what we're going to do is we're going to run patch dash I. Actually, I'll run the man page for patch first so you guys can see what it actually does. So if we look at the dash I command, wherever that is, so dash I will read from the patch file. And the other option we're going to use is dash dash merge. The reason we're using dash dash merge as well is in case there's a merge conflict, it'll make it much easier to actually resolve it. So hopefully there's not a merge conflict, but if you've ever dealt with one before, it's the same way that you deal with it on Git basically. It's a pain and hopefully it doesn't happen, but if it does, then Basically what you want to do is look through the source code. There'll be some lines in here that'll show you what's from the original file, what's from the new file, and then you have to work out what you want to keep. There's no perfect way to deal with a merge conflict. You kind of just have to go by situation. So if you run into one, I would recommend undoing the patch and trying the patches in a different order. That's generally the safest way to do it. So the, the way we're going to patch this is dash dash merge. I actually did it backwards before. You can do it on either order, it doesn't really matter. Then dash I, and then the name of the patch. So in this case, the patch is bold is not bright. So if we run this, this should succeed and not have any problem at all. So there we go. Now it has patched the file. So if we run git diff, we can see in here that there are now changes made to the file. What we're going to do now is we're going to commit this. So the reason that we're committing this is because this is the simplest way to undo a patch. So because you've already got a Git repo there, you might as well make use of it. So if for some reason you want to remove the patch, then you can just go back to the commit before the, the patch was installed. You can obviously just reinstall ST, but you don't have to do that. It's easier if you just go back and actually go to a previous commit. And I believe in my Git video, which I'll also put up on the screen, I showed how to actually check out a earlier commit. I might not have though. Yeah, if, if you need to do that, so basically you would just run git checkout and then whatever this says here. So if you want to go to the commit before the bold patch was actually applied, then you just check out this one that's directly before it. So I guess we can apply a different patch. So let's say we want to apply the Dracula patch, which is just a theme. I don't personally like this theme, but I guess some people are fans of it. So we'll copy this one into the same place. They don't actually have to be in the ST directory. It just makes 
it easier for me to actually write out the path. So if we do the same thing, dash dash merge, dash i, and then the name of the patch, which in this case is st dash Dracula and then a bunch of numbers after it, we run that and then we run git diff again we can see that changes have been made to the file. So when I did my own theme for this, I installed a different theme and then just worked from there. It made it a bit easier to work out what actually needed to be changed. So now we can commit this one as well. So if we go apply, you don't actually have to call it this. You can just call the, or you can put any git message in here. I'm just putting in something simple. Okay, so now I will uninstall this version of ST and install the new one just so I can show it to you guys. So I'll do that off camera. Okay, so I apologize because I can't zoom in now because I'm on a version of ST that doesn't support zooming. But as we can see, it looks much different to my other version of ST. This is the Dracula theme with bold is not bright. So I think if we do LF in here, yeah, we can see maybe you can just make out that the text is bold when I highlight it, but it's probably a bit difficult to see. You don't, yeah, as I said earlier, you don't have to use the patches that are on the ST page on the Suckless website or the DWM page or anything like that. You can actually use just any patch that you find for these programs. Most of the good ones are here. If you notice that I'm distracted right now, my cat is right outside my window and it's really bothering me. I'll go let him in. Okay, so I dealt with that distraction, so now we can get back to the video. I don't think there's anything else really to go over. So if you want to remove a patch, just check out the commit before the patch. There may be a way in patch to actually undo a commit. I'm not sure. I haven't actually tried it myself. I guess we can check out. Man patch, uh, maybe there is, but it didn't come up for undo and I'm not, I don't feel like searching for it in the middle of a video. So if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon below and maybe you'll see some stuff from my channel, maybe you won't. If you don't, then check out my Twitter because I do upload daily and I will be posting video updates there and basically that's just a mailing list. I occasionally will post some other stuff, some random dev stuff, maybe, I don't know, I might say I'm working out or something or just some random stuff that I feel like talking about at the time. And remember to leave a comment if you'd learned something from this video. If you don't like that I'm telling people how to use programs like ST and how to actually patch them and you're from the Suckless team or you're a Suckless fanatic, you are the exact kind of person I want watching this video and getting really annoyed by it. That's exactly what I'm aiming for. But if you're anyone else and you actually found this useful because you actually really like ST, but you wanted to know how to patch it, but no one was telling you how to do it, then I hope you learned something from it. So I think that's pretty much everything for me and I'm out.